This is Ozark country in the year 1880. Our first assignment in these parts, where strangers either welcome you with a gun or with a jug of moonshine. Stoney and I hadn't moved in to do anything about the unlawful making of moonshine. We were down here for one thing, $60,000 in gold bullion. The gold had been stolen from the U.S. Army wagon caravan five years before. And we received information that gold was hidden somewhere in this territory. Well, Tarman, is this the right way into town? Oh, there, there is a better way, but you just keep going out over the hill. Thanks. Pull up them horses and don't turn around. Keep them hands away from your guns. What do you want around here? Well, if it's in your business, we're on our way to Pine Hollow. Yeah? How do we know you ain't a pair of them snooping revenue agents? You don't, but we ain't. Oh, money! I found it! Money! Look, I found it! Hey, look at these gold coins. There must be hundreds of dollars here. Yeah. Where'd you find it? Well, I, I was digging around the shack like you said, and there it was. Give it here. Oh, no. You found it on my land. Yeah, you? yeah, but it's mine. What's the idea of shooting that old man? He was trying to steal from me. I don't let nobody get away with that. How is he, Stoney? Nothing we can do, Pat. He's dead. What do you mean he was trying to steal from you? He found that can of money on my land, didn't he? So it belongs to me. Yes, but you didn't know that can was on your land, did you? No, I didn't, but that don't make no difference. He found it on my land while he was a working for me. Look, that was very treasure. If he found it, it rightfully belonged to him. Seeing as he's dead now, that makes me the owner. It makes you a murderer. I'm a federal agent, and I'm taking you into the district attorney. Get your horse. You ain't taking me no place, mister. take you to the district attorney, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Pat! Look, he's getting away with that money! Go after him, Stoney. We'll need that gold for evidence. Now we're getting your horse and heading for town. That's a pretty serious charge. Who did you kill, Baxter? Old Pete Daly. He is trying to get away with some money he found on my land. A man has the right to protect his own property. Buried money without the proof of ownership is subject to the laws of treasure trove. Daly found that money. It legally belonged to him. Baxter here killed him, and that's murder. You sound pretty sure of all this, Mr. Gallagher. I am. If you don't believe me, look it up. I'm the federal district attorney for this area. Knowing the law happens to be my business. Then we don't have to argue anymore about it. If you'll make out the complaint, I'll sign it. Well, there's plenty of time for that, Gallagher. I want to ask him a few questions before I take action. Wait a minute. What goes on here? What are you talking about? There's some kind of a setup between you two. You don't want to prosecute him. Why? 
You can't talk to me like that. Get out of my office. I'll be back in 20 minutes to sign that complaint. Have it ready. All right, Gallagher, I'll have it ready. In 20 minutes, understand? Anybody else see you shoot old Daly? There's another one with him. Must be his partner. He's probably another federal man, too. Well, Miss Kell will take care of him. doing in this neck of the woods? I'm demonstrating a new kind of portable still to sell to the moonshiners around here. Oh, is that so? Yeah, and this old boiler of mine, they can make good moonshine out of hay and potatoes. For some strange reason, I don't believe you. <laughs> what you're trying to say is that I'm peddling a phony still. Isn't that it, Stoney? For once, you're right. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. You're wrong. This is the real McCoy. Why, even the Hatfields would have to admit it. Hatfields McCoy. Yeah. I don't know. I still can't believe you. Now, look, Stoney, just a minute. Before you jump to any conclusions, let me show you how this thing works. Come here. Here. Now, this is my special hay chopper. Another little item that should bring a handsome profit. Oh, you mean you're going to sell them the hay, too? Naturally. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe you'd like to get in on the ground floor on this little deal. Well, uh, absolutely not. Oh, uh, now, Stoney, don't be so hasty. Let me show you how it works first. All right. <clears throat> now, this. This is the thing that does it. Oh. See, I pull on this, and just the right amount of hay goes up the chute and into the boiler, like this. <clears throat> That's funny. It didn't work. No, it doesn't work. Now, I want to tell you something. What? You know what I'm going to do? No. I'm going to put you under arrest for selling moonshine liquor without a federal license. <laughs> uh, yeah, and hay and potatoes. It's probably not fit for human consumption. Give me that jug over there. That's dangerous. Oh. <sighs> to kill anybody. And now, I have the extreme pleasure of putting you under arrest. You can't do that, Stoney. Why not? Because you've just destroyed all the evidence. I don't like that look in your eye. You ain't gonna like the sound of this gun. Get going! No! No! No, I can't trip! I'll get in with you for this. <laughs> You're one up for me. I thought you were my friend. I heard six shots, stranger. Too bad. Drop your gun. If your partner tries to hold my brother, you're gonna die. Now get on your horse. Yeah, sure, I'm Peterson, but I can't take on any more work today, stranger. I didn't want to talk to you about work. I wanted to talk to you about this letter you sent to the United States government. Letter? Oh, oh, I remember now, but my daughter wrote that. Oh, Yenny, come here. Be out in a couple of minutes, Pa. Oh, wait. I'm telling you, daughter ain't fixing to stand trial for no murder. Shut up, will ya? Nobody's asking you to stand trial. We got other things to worry about. Like what, for instance? That federal man is talking to Peterson. Peterson? Where? Right out in front of the blacksmith shop. Now I know what he's doing here. The government wants to horn in on the buried treasure we're finding in these hills. 
What for? Five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. Them small potatoes of the government. Look, Baxter, the Gawk gang made its biggest haul just before it was wiped out. It ambushed a wagon train from California carrying government gold. What are you getting at? Peterson's been on the track of it for years. He's very close to finding it. Now, he thinks I've got something on him. He's working with me. But if this federal man moves in, come on. We'll take care of that fellow right. right now. What do you want, Pa? Who's the good-looking cowboy? Jenny, didn't I told you not to write no letters to the government? Oh, I know you did, but I sent one anyway. I told him just what happened and signed your name to it. Your letter said you found hundreds of dollars worth of buried treasure and that the government stole it from you. That's right. Now, now wait a minute, Jenny. I don't want you to answer no more questions. Your daughter may have to answer a lot more questions, Mr. Peterson, and you too. There's a gun in your back, Gallagher. Don't turn around. Drop your gun. Get on your horse. Get going. There, that does it. You should have taken my warning, Gallagher. I advised you to get out of town. Now you're going to feed the fishers. some way to get rid of his partner. We can't take any chances. Well, if Miss Kale got him, he'll be at the cabin. Let's go. You was a goner. How'd y'all get your feet loose under all that water? Well, I filled my boots full of sand. Then when I was underwater, I kicked the sand down, and that loosened the ropes. <laughs> You're sure a lot of men. That's all I can say. Thanks. As soon as I get my boots, I'm going back into town and have a talk with your father and Dort. No. First, I want you to talk to Pa alone. Pa's a good man. It's just that he's kind of scared of Dort. You wait here. I'm going to bring Pa out so as you can talk to him. You hear me? You know something? You're the first pretty girl that's ever helped me get out of a jam like this. Much obliged. Thanks, nothing. But don't you worry. Paul will be here. I'll bet he will. the other federal man? It sure is. Good. You won't have me long. Oh? Who's going to help you get away? Your partner? That's right. He's dead. He swallowed too much water and drowned himself. <laughs> you don't expect me to swallow that, do you? You men are going to take him into town and hang him. And you can have most of the town helping you. Just spread the word he's a revenue agent and he killed old man Daly. Is that all I'm supposed to have done? Get him out of here. Ain't you coming with us? <laughs> the district attorney isn't supposed to be in favor of lynchings. I'll be along in a little while. Let's go.
Jack, get on your horse. Get going. I've been expecting you. Yeah, sure. You only said you wanted to talk with me. That's right. I want to help you, Mr. Peterson. Yes, sir. But I can't until I find out the deal between you and Mr. Dort. Deal? Why, uh, what do you mean, Mr. Gallagher? Your daughter wrote a letter to the government. Said you found some buried money. You turned it over to a government official. That was Dort, wasn't it? Well, yes. Uh, he told me the government would want some share of the treasure. And he kept putting me off about giving it back. And that's when Yen, he wrote the letter. Did he give you back any of the money? Well, no, he, he threatened me with a lot of fancy legal talk. He said I wouldn't get anything unless I put in with him. Oh. What was his proposition? Well, he said that was nothing towards what we could find. You know, I'm an expert on treasure symbols. So he wanted me to be partners with him. Then you're looking for that wagon train full of gold? Yeah, sure, that's right. You know where it is? Oh. Look, that gold's federal property. If you were to keep that money, you'd be an outlaw. You wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Oh, yes, yeah, no. Uh, you come with me. i show you something. Good. Take a look at the symbol on this rock. That means there must be treasure around here somewhere. The only thing that bothers me is that arrow. It, it, it points uh, clear out to nowhere. You haven't been reading this symbol right. That's why it was used to throw people off the track. This is the triangle. This point of the triangle, that's what we're after. That's our direction. And the point's right toward the center of the town. Then this does mean something after all. It is just the old patch. But, but I never could figure out what this O-R-O -O means on there. O-R-O. -O. That's the symbol for gold. We better head back into town. Say, Mr. Peterson, that badge you showed me, you said it belonged to a Sheriff Radford. What happened to him? Oh, the gold gang, they hung him. That tree? Yeah, sure. And where'd you find the badge? I took it up right there. Then that's our answer. Look, you get some dynamite, we may need it. Meantime, I'm going over and have a talk with Dort. I'll meet you back here. Yeah, sure. Did you find Dort? No, he wasn't in. Well, I'm not surprised. Say, my partner should have been in town long ago. Something must have happened to him. I'm going to ride out to Baxter's cabin and check up on him. I'll see you later. Don't you? How'd you get out of that lake? That's a family secret. You won't be so smart when I get through with you. While they're hanging your partner in town, you're gonna dig your own grave out here. Grab that shovel. Now we'll go around back of the shack. Move. Just spread the word we got the revenue of the kill Pete Daly. We'll need a lynch mob to do this right. Get down off that horse. Gallagher. 
How would you like to throw in with me on this government gold? Throw in with you? What's your deal? We could make a lot of money together, you and I. We're both federal officers. That's right, we are. Are you interested in easy money? I'm interested in anything that'll get me out of this pit. Well, let's talk this over. You think we can find this federal gold, is that it? I'm positive we can find it. I figure old man Peterson knows where it is right now. All we have to do is persuade him a little. Yeah, but that may not be so easy. You leave that to me. And another thing, Gallagher, there are lots of people around here who can be prosecuted for breaking the law. Now, if you were to bring them in, and I was to offer them immunity, get it? Hey, that's a bright idea. You're through, Dort. Bribing a federal officer and attempted murder. That ought to cool you off for some time. Now, where's my partner? Come on, start talking. I'll give you one second. Baxter and Mescal took him into town. Thanks. I'll be back after you later. Keep out of this, Peterson. I will not. This will learn you revenue is that we mean business. These revenue has got mighty nice necks for stretching. Hey, Miss Gell? Start saying your prayers, mister. Your daddy's gonna be all right, Jenny. Oh, he's gonna be fine. Just a flesh wound. Takes a lot more than that to hurt my paw. I'll bet. Say, we found something else in that chest at the bottom of the tree besides gold. We found money. It belongs to you and your dad. I put it in the bank for you. You're a mighty nice person, Pat Gallagher. You're mighty nice yourself, Jenny. You wanna shake on that? Sure, I do. Oh, no. What you is don't this? think I'm gonna let you get away, do you? From now on, you belong to me. Hey, where's that key to this? Not a chance. I haven't got the key. Look. <laughs> Gallagher. 
Jenny, I don't make enough money. I ain't letting you get away. Well, what are you going to do? You think I don't know? I'll show you, mister. <laughs> <laughs> 